Hi, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, it's great to have you guys all here today. We're going to be doing another My Hero Ultra Impact video. Uh, we're going to be talking about two different topics. We're going to be talking about Smash Tap, and we're also going to be talking about everything that Ultra Impact can learn from Smash Tap. I'm going to be a set, doing a second video of this series with Ultra, not Ultra Impact and Rising, and that's going to be a, a, basically everything that you shouldn't do. But Smash Tap did a lot of good. There's actually a lot of good in Smash Tap, so obviously we, we're going to have to talk about it. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next uh, two videos. Uh, today and tomorrow, sorry I'm all over the place. I just got done filming like freaking 20 videos for my other channel. So I'm like all pff, disoriented a little bit, and I just ate a lot, so I apologize. And by the way, uh, we are going to be using the uh, My Hero Wiki. Huge shout out to Hydros, as always, for all the images provided and all that good jazz. So make sure to check out the wiki and give it some support. So let's go ahead and talk about the first topic that we're going to talk about is Smash Tap. So you guys might be asking, what is Smash Tap? Smash Tap was a gacha game that came out back in 2017, May 29th. Hey, a day uh, right after my birthday. Pretty cool. Uh, and unfortunately, it died. Not this game, though. What happened was, I don't know why they did this. I'll never really understand what happened. The mindset behind what they did was they had Smash Tap. It was working just fine. Very cool. The gameplay was fun. Banners are cool. The art was great. And then all of a sudden, they just decided on July 14, 2018, to go ahead and swap Smash Tap for Smash Rising. And then Smash Rising went live on October 15th. Um, and it was not great. And it, it didn't last that long. It, la it died after like a year or like two years, I think. Uh, and it, it did tr it did not turn out very well. So the first piece of advice to Ultra Impact, don't do something like that. Ultra Impact already looks fantastic. You don't need to do any overhauls, no changing of the gameplay. It looks great. The gameplay is fun. It's um, transformative. It's different. Uh, compared to some gacha games, there's cooldowns on skills. There's definitely some strategy, uh, a bit more strategy than normal on uh, this game. Uh, an ultra impact and then obviously you know um not to say smash tap was anything uh not fun but it was very fun it, it was like a kind of hack and slash type of game you use these little cute little chibi models to run around the map and kind of go crazy and that was always a really good time so um i definitely want to see more of that in you know like the future in um ultra impact you know more like the chibi models definitely are cute so like uh, so it's good they, they took they took some good stuff from uh they took some good options already from smash tap low key uh the only thing that i would like to see is of course is the amazing card art so if you guys have not seen some of the card arts of smash tap smash tap had fantastic fantastic card arts um so definitely check that stuff out. Another thing that I would like to see in Ultra Impact is seasonal characters. Let's go ahead and pull up a seasonal. Um, I think there's there should be a Christmas. Well, they have. I think this is like the. Uh, I forgot what this banner was called. But different. You guys get what I'm saying. This isn't. This isn't a holiday one. I forgot what in God's name this was actually. Uh, to be honest. But. Uh, I think Deku has a Christmas. Oh, New Year's, New Year's. Okay, so yeah, you see what I'm talking about here? So like New Year's, for example, definitely a very big, uh, big deal. I mean, it, it definitely worked out very well. Um, you know, so I really want to see seasonals in Ultra Impact. I know a lot of people might not be super down for that, but I'm definitely down for it. I, I definitely want to see, you know, seasonals and different things uh, come to uh, Ultra Impact like that because again, it creates variety, it keeps, creates long th longevity because here's the other issue too. Um, Smash Tap was crazy. They dropped so much hype in the first year. Literally the first year they went crazy. Uh, let me see if I could actually show you guys. Um, are they going to have that specific card art here? No. Okay. Um, no. Okay. So let's go back and look for... So, for example, um, the biggest All Might moment from the anime at the time, they pretty much put through that in the game like nothing they, they they threw it in quicker than anything i've ever seen i'm pretty sure it's it was this one okay because there was a bunch of all my but i'm pretty sure that was it but they went crazy dude like they literally just dropped it I, yeah i'm pretty sure that's it. oh no here it is uh Amer yes this one right here this was dropped into the game so quick and I'll never understand why. They literally like grabbed it and threw it in in like two seconds. And like, the thing is at the time there wasn't much source material for Ultra Impact, which that's gonna be another uh, topic of discussion. It's uh, how long the game could actually last. Uh, they dropped it super early 
in uh, Smash Tap. Like they're like they barely waited and just threw it in. I'm telling you, like there was like no, it was crazy. Um, and they kind of did that with a lot of different characters. Like they kind of just kept throwing really hype stuff like within the first year. I felt like that kind of hurts uh, hurts it a little bit. So with Ultra Impact, I'm hoping that they kind of like tiptoe a little bit more. They go through season one slowly, they go through season two slowly, season three, and they go through it slowly and really start building up those, you know, those teams of categories and stuff like that versus just going all in, going crazy, uh, like they did for, uh, you know, for unfortunately, uh, Smash Tap and Rising. I hope they kind of, you know, tiptoe around and really, you know, make things last a bit longer that's kind of what i uh, my biggest hope for the game is going to be uh, i definitely want to see you know them kind of like you know just walking on uh you know very carefully around i don't want to see anything too out of too out of place too out of you know out of the ordinary just you know slowly right slowly build up the game so that's definitely something i would like ultra impact to do um go slower because smash up was way too fast rising was way too fast so um, I think they should just definitely go a bit slow. Um, and like, uh, for example, all the units that they've showed, um, I would love to see them, you know, definitely go, you know, not start, drop them all in the same month, but actually drop them, you know, within like the first two to three months, which is what I think they're going to do anyways. I doubt they're going to show all the reveals in like the first month. That's crazy. That's like a million units that they could hold off on. Uh, but that is definitely something I would generally really want. So um, definitely like that. So again, you know, seasonals for sure. I, I don't know. I, I really want seasonal characters in Ultra Impact. Um, uh, that's going to be actually, that's another. That's going to be a next. Uh, okay. All right. This whole week we got, we got a lot of good videos actually this week. Very cool. Uh, that's another topic I could definitely talk about. Um, you know, PvP. So that's definitely going to be something. Uh, rising and tap i don't believe either of them had pvp uh for the most part i could be wrong i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they didn't i'm like more than certain that they didn't have a uh, pvp in the game i'm hoping i'm hoping anyways i don't remember <laughs> my brain uh unfortunately my brain is a little confuzzled uh with memories but um that is definitely some stuff again to slow down and then obviously a global release i'm gonna talk uh, that's again another video that like how important a global release is for this game and how detrimental i feel like rising and smash tap you know had right so that's what i'm going to you know make a video on and stuff like that so i'm pretty much done here i just kind of want to go through like a couple pointers here and there nothing too long nothing too crazy so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe definitely means a lot and we're gonna keep fighting for your ultra impact content hopefully every day till the game comes out if it's not every day it is what it is uh, but I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to attempt my best. Again, I'm really coming up with content out of my ass here, people. So I'm going to try my best. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. See you guys later. Take care. And uh, smell you later. Bye.